Donkey Kong, as they say. But nonetheless, here we go. Game two. Team Boss versus Team Solid Boys. It's going to be match point, possibly. And Team Solid Boys, their draft is looking solid. Kaysaya, what do you think is going to happen here? Well, I think what is going to happen in here is uh, it seems like pretty chill time for both of the team solid boys not even cutting the minion waves anywhere on top or bot side but team ubos it looks like they're gonna be attempting to steal this blue buff away from solid boys right now they want to remove this away from the link because we know how link and powerful be uh for himself if he gets his buff especially these two buffs for himself but for the meantime there is some just some, some poke happening for the both sides are base prepared to even go for a dive if the fight happens and look at that they're prolonging in here on this blue side right now team obos not first getting blood. the farm that they need early on and then esmeralda will get the first blood there's an exchange of skills the Yomar will be able to take down one member on the side of team solid boys they're not stopping however lou is super low in, in his kill. hp she will fall down that is a bad time for of course lou as well but they managed to well, at least even out the kills, having that two to score for themselves. They're not stopping though. Tan is low in HP. He will be able though to secure the blue buff for themselves. Well, that was quite a risky play for both of the teams. Wherein we saw that Team Solid Boys basically just uh, taking the time to find the right timing before they even secure the blue buff for themselves but for the meantime mm -hmm. in the mid side in the river side it seems like they want to contest contest that area at least before this a turtle goes up mm -hmm. so this is a, a more competitive start here for team boss if i might say so myself they're up 500 they're trading very smartly here but again it's mr vn cram who died on the other end though it's lu uh and aning ning so our offlaner and support it's an interesting trade-off but nonetheless first blood oh sorry another kill might come in once more in mid because these two teams they just won't let go right they're, they're protecting their buffs but in a weird and aggressive way they have to sometimes what is risky it pays more you know high risk high reward but on the bot side oh my goodness we did not see what happened in there but mr v was taken out by the thugs Aning ning that was a girl versus boy on the bot side how how like how happy might be this Aning ning is taking down one of the former pro players on the side of solid boys on the bot side and even making a push on the turret here one turret on the bot oh. but for the meantime oh look at that aggressive play oh wow cram surviving via flicker and a bouncing ball but look at this hand tempest of blaze that's another kill same flicks with a double but the shutdown by tan oh almost going down via the flame shot and that was a little messy, if I might say so myself, Team Solid Boys. They're getting a little careless, especially with Mr. V. Like, you should not be picking fights against a Ning Ning. And I can only imagine, yes, how happy a Ning Ning was. But nonetheless, Mr. V he has to pick his fights. He has to pick his fights. And Team Solid Boys, uh, they're, yeah. they're not as dominant as they were in Game 1. What's happening? Yeah, th that's my question too. It feels like they lost composure even though it should have been them keeping the composure up from that win from game one. Uh, maybe, probably it's also because they got, you know, two squishy assassins on their side which is of course that Hellkurt uh, needs, that needs a lot of careful place because, yeah, oh yeah. look at that, <laughs> he got scared uh, from that ultimate from Aljus. And that's what's scary. Chokes is not getting checked. But look at this. Pain so aggressive. Click in that Phantom Steed once more. And it's, it's not going to be re just result in more, more kills. But nonetheless, Team Solid Boys are afraid of mid now. Like, they are not in any position to fight Pain. And Pain is having the time of his life. 4 1 0, okay, Saya. And Killing Spree can help him survive big, big 3v1s, 4v1s even. 
it feels like this Ling is not having the plays that he wants. Although he got the first kill or, you know, he got one kill already for himself. Um, he is currently playing safe right now. Maybe he's waiting for his power spike to go up before he goes for good, you know, ganks maybe on some sides. But for the meantime, we have another skirmish on going in here. Getting set up is Cram. And Cram in here with a slither of Valve. Seems like he will be able Whoa. to survive. But no, that Leomard will take the last hit to put down Cram and delete him from the map. But for the meantime, look at that double kill going on to the Leomard. Pain is having a good time. He needs to back away though because oh. he got a slither of health. But before he even dies, he actually didn't even die. He got a triple kill against oh. Team Solid Boys. <sighs> I saw how Tan tried to go for the turn. I saw how Tan tried to turn, but it just did not work out for him. Mr. V, no, is this a fight you can pick, my dude? I'd say she'd get out of here. Oh, that's going to be Coach Chuck putting in the exclamation point. Now goes Mr. V. Thank you, Saya. This is what we were talking about. Earlier on, we were wondering what's going on with two solid boys. Now they just seem like they're all over the place. Now it just seems like they don't know how to answer Team Obos. And it's Team Obos who is now just setting the pace. This is their game now. Yeah, it, it may be... Um, they, they remove the uh, the power from Solid Boys by taking out or respecting the heroes that they have picked a while ago. Oh, gonna get the last hit. Oh my goodness! Oh. Ling was able to steal away the turtle from Team Obos. Might this be a potential comeback for them? Everyone's going for a fight onto the mid side. Oh, look at that set coming from the Kufra. Was just going all in. This is a 5v4 situation, and as we can see, Slither fell for Coach Chuck right now. They're trying to target Chooks TV. Chooks TV will fall down. No more Algis, but meantime, while well, that skirmish happened on the mid side, look at what Aning, Aning, Aning did once more taking down another turret, this time on the top side. If it wasn't on pain, if that kill wasn't on pain for the shutdown, uh. It would totally be worth it here for Team Obos. Like, yeah, definitely. A couple heroes for a clean push up top on a turret. All good. But the fact that it was on pain, and it was Tan who got the kill. Oh, no. It was someone else. But it was Mr. V who got the kill. Then that shutdown gold is just going to go a long way. Hence, Team Solid Boys, they're ahead now. They're ahead about a thousand gold. So earlier they were down. Now they're up. And I think this might be a great comeback. And again, push down bottom. Great job. Mr. V pops. The Dark Knight falls. But it's too late. Kane has already began his killing spree. A double for the Leo Mord. But that's going to be Arbe taking down one. But it's almost a wipeout. Team Obos finally doing their namesake. Making Ubos the solid boys. And Tan is the only survivor. I have an opinion on the skirmish that happened on the mid side. I don't know why. Uh, that Hellkurt, Mr. V, I don't know why he did not go on the backside. He went straight forward from the front of Team Ubos. Lu was reheating uh -huh. on the backside, helping uh, in terms of crowd Turtle control and damage soon. as well. So, Lu is in here, is still left unchecked. And I think if Solid Boys wants to win this, Hellkurt needs to focus on that squishy hero. Lou on the side of yep. Team Obos first. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And here's a team fight waiting to happen. Coach Chuck going for uh, the frigid breath here, pushing people back. Again, we're waiting for this fight to happen near the Lord. And Tan picks it. Aning Ning, she does have uh, the Inferno, does not pop it just yet. Coach Chuck in the middle of two Eds and Cram. Hold up, where is Pain? Uh, Alright, Pain is there. Oh wow, this is such a weird fight because Team Boss, they don't want to pick it just yet, but Team Solid Boys, they're not in any form. Like, Team Solid Boys should not uh, force this either. But look at this now. I think it's happening, Isaiah. It's happening! Oh, what a turnaround! Oh. It's Cram getting the kill onto Coach Chuck, so that's one down for Team Boss. Up next, Cram gonna be getting out of here. Pain is in trouble. Nice oh. job by Arbe, falling Star Moon, and he survives. He gets the hell out of there. Arbe gonna run. I mean, Ning pops the Inferno, goes in, is Tan, and he does not want that fight either. He needs his orange. He needs his orange, and it's still a one for none. Oh, oh. but Chunks, <laughs> Chunks goes in. 
Yeah, I mean, he can. Um, there's higher survivability for that Aljo in comparison to what a Hellcurt has. But on that fight, by the way, on the river side a while ago in the mid, I like how Lu pushed back, you know, members of Solid Boys away from pain. Do not touch my partner. Do not touch my husband. <laughs> no one's gonna touch pain. Fine. Shoo away, shoo away. I like that the assist oh. uh, that was performed by Lu on that skirmish. Definitely. Now, now that uh, the question earlier was how will they make it to the late game, I think we're already in the late game, and that question has we been are. answered. Uh, they have to just be aggressive themselves, and Chokes here on the Aldos, he's just having a fine time. It's like, yep, I'm just gonna start punching minions. I'll just take these stacks, and when you need me, just say so. I'll click my ult, and I'll be there in no time. All right, so great, great for oh, Team no. Obos here. Aning Ning pops the ult, but so does Mr. V, so that's a oh, false engage. Attack. If anything, I do think Mr. V lost out on that. That was a, a, a that yeah, was a boo boo. Sure. Without the ultimate, definitely Solid Boys cannot set up team fights or even maybe go back to safety. In the meantime, they did set oh. up a team fight. Even though Mr. V doesn't have his ultimate ready and as of yet, retreat. we're going all in. But it seems like Solid Boys, their members, are homered. And I, I think that's uh, what's winning them in terms of team fights. Oh. But for the meantime, we did not see how. Kill. Yeah, how it actually resumed, but it is now Solid Boys going for a Lord take. A Ning Ning and Pain is waiting patiently, and there goes the dive coming from Solid Boys right now. Apparently, they're the one getting deleted so far, but they're gonna go for a kill against Pain and shutting down Pain once more. Seems like it sounds something really satisfying for them. A Ning Ning has that high sustain. Look at that, even dealing for almost one minute. On that fight. Oh! Alright, so Aningning lasted quite a while. Tan got knocked down there. He should have stayed alive. But look at this the turnaround, the swing is just bad. Ed's hunted down here by Chokes. The contract has been signed. Fate sealed. That's going to be another <laughs> set of stacks for the Aldos. Man, oh I thought the Solid Boys were onto something, but. Uh, they, they, you know what I saw there? Arbe took his time turning around. You see how like he made like, all right, I'm gonna walk through here. Hold up, let me just turn around. Well, I'm not too sure about uh, that Lord fight that uh, happened a while ago. I think Solid Boys could have just checked the bush first before spending all of their abilities in the Lord. Imagine if it was a different situation or if that actually happens. But for the meantime. There it goes, we have another Dark Knight Falls popped out by Mr. V and I think it was put into somehow some waste again because no skirmishes happen anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh look at this now, Chokes hunting down Arbe, down bottom. Oh the burst is real and here comes the cavalry, Arbe hit with a single fatal lynx and it's going to lead to a free kill. Team Obos here just picking off team solid boys i don't know team solid boys they lack aoe and they lack the pure damage yeah for sure and tanj uh, he's also having a hard time going in team fights mm -hmm. because maybe a reliable support is something that solid boys is also lacking in their lineup but oh, yeah. let's see oh, yeah. what is gonna happen I think okay, the fact that Kane is on a purify that kind of makes it worse for Team Solid Boys because there's so, there, there's support here is it so. on that Popol and Koopa, so there's a lot of stuns that can come from that. But it looks like Coach Chuck here is their target, which I believe is the wrong target. That's a tank. You're putting in too much to fight a single chunky boy. Now Pain calls on Barbiel once more. Ed's barely surviving. Tan here oh. gonna push in. Yeah, Tempest of Blades. He's out of here. He's barely surviving. Oh no, they're all still full health. Pain gonna run away. And just like that, Team Solid Boys gave 150%. Wow. It just wasn't enough. Oh my goodness. Look at all the HP bars and the members on the side of Team Solid Boys. You mentioned Purify a while ago. Pain did make use of the Purify once more. It just basically allowed him to continuously deal damage against the members yeah. of Solid Boys. And what can they do? Initiate Maybe retreat. it's time Initiate for Solid retreat. Boys to... Uh, bait out pain in making use of his purify 
maybe that's something that they have to you know look at doing now that but but the point in here is that pain as well when he doesn't have that purify he doesn't show himself in the map look at that he he goes for the buff take first and maybe do something else and not be present while he's not even ready for fights and that's why we can say that pain is also a good player oh yeah and again, this is what they needed. They needed their superstar trigger. They needed to go super Saiyan mode and call on pain, summon the horseman. And that's essentially their key to victory here. Uh, 3,000 gold ahead. Definitely the map is theirs, Team Ubos. And I'm still looking for a turnaround for Team Solid Boys. Save for maybe Team Ubos making some mistakes. Uh, they essentially have this game, especially with that Aldus down bottom pushing. This is Chooks just waiting to say, can I click my ult now? Who do I need to punch? Yeah. Who do I need to punch? And usually his targets just mainly either Ling or that Hellcurt. And he doesn't care about anything else. And what's making it even hard mm -hmm. for Solid Boys to dive into teamfights is not just because of that. Look at that setup coming from Coach Chop. Really nice one. Forcing S to even flicker and dash out from the fight. But... Oh my goodness, I think someone is just about to die. But they got an immortality in here. Coach still having that slither of health. Mr. V will still fall down. And Shut even Tad, three members left on the side of Team Solid Boys. While there's just one that got deleted on the side of Team Ubos. Coach Chop. Yep. I love that setup. Yep, it was a bait. It was a, it was a one-two switch. It was a sleight of hand. It's like, up, oh, you want this? You want this? Here you go. Fatal links into pain, and he essentially did just that. He brought the pain. A two for one. Uh, it, it it sounds less significant than it actually is, but do note, it's Tan and Mr. Vio went down. Now takes out another fatal links on to Arbe. Down goes the Esmeralda. Pain gets another one. He's sitting at 11, 3, and 5, Kaisaya. This turret is not going to be standing much, much no, longer. This is Lu raining down the fire, and Tan wants to get some revenge. Lu is going to fall here. Mr. V gets the kill. Coach Chop running for his life. I don't know. That's his job. Coach Chuck is peeling for his squad and it's working. So, if I might say so here, besides Pain, Coach Chuck is our MVP. I'll say it as early as now. Here we go, another fight happening. Tempest of Blades by Tan. Pain looking low, another call onto Barbiel. Phantom Steed keeps him alive. That bounty, sorry, no, killing spree is doing so much for him. That's a three for one and too little too late to pick up the Malefic Roar. There's not much pushing you're gonna do here, Team Solid Boys, because your mid turret is gonna go down. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna go down anytime soon. A flicker out by Coach Jack in there, or just basically a dash out. But yeah, you talked about who, who is your MVP on this game, and you mentioned Coach Chuck on that at last. But for me, I think apart from Coach Jack, I wanna call Lou an MVP in here as well, because you know, there's a protection for the Cleomard, not only on the front side, but also on the back side. Um, uh, the mm -hmm, knockback mm -hmm. is really com contributing a lot in such a way. This pain, this uh, Leomard will be all alive to deal all the damage, to, to fight mm -hmm. for them. He's the warrior, for sure. and they're the protectors. Oh yeah, definitely. And here now, it's surprising how Team Solid Boys are, are just staying inside their base but also kind of peeking their heads out here like Mr. V but the thing is I like how Chokes is just going around is like all right like he's not really joining fights like he only comes in with his own yeah good zone but just sometimes basically going for his ultimate but for the meantime we can see in here a chase going to Chokes TV oh. he won't be able to survive that was like three yeah, members dude on the side of Solid Boys that got him out. But now, we are now on almost 20 minute game time and the death timers are heavy. And when we know that someone is down from a team, you can take advantage of them getting outnumbered oh. by here. But that for the meantime, they continue oh. with the team fight. Look at that preheating. Leo Mord so far, but getting targeted now shut by Cram on oh. that part of the map. And another shot down. It's a turnaround. Is this the Kaysaya, it's a turnaround. Is this the Ning Ning is all alone and they don't care anymore because they know that they're gonna be 
uh, or basically just waste time on even chasing that Sam's out. So they just go for the Lord take, and this is going to be definitely and obviously uncontested. I wonder if uh, Team Solid Boys is going to, you know, potentially going to put this into an end. But there goes the ultimate coming up from the Aldo. Will be able to take the last hit. Who's gonna go in? And oh. there you go. Team Solid Boys will still go and take the Lord for themselves. And we're not with done with the team fight because Aldo and Ningning is super tanky, buying just enough time. She will still fall down. They're trying to find where Chuk oh. TV is. There goes Chuk TV. Oh, he barely just right makes on it. Time. He barely he made makes it. it. He made it. Well, for Chips, he made it to back to safety. Yeah. That was so close. I could have sworn that Tan almost hit him. Tan was around. Tan yeah, saw him. So and it was a split second. It was a split second. And this is some space here for Team Solid Boys to breathe. Right? The past two team fights, like that started in their uh, purple buff. And then all the way to the Lord, those were wins, definitely, for Team Solid Boys. But it's now their game to lose. Once more, uh, it seems like they're ahead because of how they scrambled Team Obos. But nonetheless, they're not out of the woods just yet. No. Um, Team Obos can still win this fight. So as is, of course, Team Solid Boys, who even had two additional members for themselves. You know, Koopa and of course, the Lord. But Dark Knight Falls has been used by Mr. V. Um, of course, I think it, it was kind of wasted because that wasn't mm -hmm. a team fight that is about to happen, happen as of yet. But let's see what's going to happen in here next. Leo. Oh no! Down goes Mr. V again. The wasted Dark Knight falls and Tan is looking for a target. He gets it. There you go. Tempest of Blades on the coach Chuck. He backs out. This is not a good position for you, Team Solid Boys. Get out of there as Team Obos just decimates the Lord. Oh, nice threat onto the mid lane turret though. By Team Solid Boys. One more hit on that, but here we go. Barbiel is being called on. Just like Sea Biscuit, he's going ham. Cram goes down. Kufra needs to get the hell out of Dodge. And he bouncing balls out of here. There it goes. Tempest of Blades. Nice pick off on to Chooks. And that's going to be the back out by Pain because he feels like he's not safe anymore. Yes. Nice. Winion's taking down a turret. But just like that, Pan is smelling blood. He wants another fight. Nice a frigid breath here by Coach Shock. And Cram going in with the ball. Here we go. Payne wants to go round two. Taken down. Cram is a Ning Ning. Nice alley oop onto the Thames. Oh no. Hold up. I'm losing my breath. And it's going down here. Pop the immortality. Lu is going to be next up. Pan barely surviving. Oh no. There goes the Ning Ning getting one member in the side of Solid Boys. But Solid Boys did not only make a comeback in terms of positioning or contestion in the map, but although they have lost that Lord a while ago, they have put that Lord into waste because they did not uh, take or they weren't able to take any turrets down while having that Lord. They managed to make a comeback in terms of at least winning again the the flow of the minion waves. On the bot side, mm -hmm. that, although that, those were just the minions, at least, look at that, three turrets deleted away from Team Obos and in terms of turret, remaining turrets, it is now on the side. The upper hand is now on the side of Team Solid Boys. Yeah, yeah, they were uh, going from no turrets, well, just the first tier, wow. up until just one turret left for Team Obos. It's their turrets, Nana Obos, all right? So here we go, it's going to be Chooks <laughs> checking in, he's signing the contract. Whose fate is he gonna seal here? It cancels it. So uh, that's going to be that. Uh, interesting, no? That, that there's a global ult on both sides. Mr. V has Dark Knight Falls and uh, Chooks has his ult. So yeah. I must say, Mr. V's ult is much, much more valuable though. He has to watch out for that. He has to protect it. Yeah, I mean, many times he wasted his ultimate and mm -hmm. getting baited out by, by the members of Team Ubos to make use of that. But this time, I think this is him saying that, no, I'm going to make use of this uh, at, at the right time this time. And yes, they have taken down Lu. No more backline protection for the Leo Mord. And there, there are two team fights currently happening right now. One on the top side and one on the bot side. I'll do this to take down one member on the side of Team Solid Boys. While Esmeralda oh. will be paying for his teammate's life as well.
still there going all in tan waiting for the right time to dive in once more but these are quite tanky heroes to go for Jump with his little belt will no longer survive a ning ning as well i don't think she can make oh, it no. but with pain Look maybe pain. she will because pain in here he still got the purify making use of it now trying to deal a lot of damage will he able to survive oh. i don't think so the rest is a lot of members three members of the side flip solid fight and in need all alone right now i don't oh, think she can make it there goes saber talenty but then again she will just fall down a wipe out on the side of team Opos, and i think team solid fight can even potentially just put this game and two on end and there you go will you be able to make it i don't think so congratulations to team solid boys winning this first best of three on a 2-0 score Besides uh, Team Solid Boy, dear, they really put us in quite a roller coaster of emotions. Look at this, oh, 28 yes. to 28. It's as <laughs> close as it gets. 26 minutes. And again, I named my MVP earlier. I may have called it too soon. It was Coach Chuck, but it looks like the Solid Boys had an ace up their sleeves. Oh man, congratulations. Despite uh, a few blunders uh along their way mr v just dying more than he should have popping of the dark knight falls yeah. it seemed like yeah. uh they had it you know the power of friendship was enough the power of friendship Kisaya. <laughs> because there were five of them being friends and uh it paid uh, uh more for them but for the meantime let's take a look at the highlights